got. Let me tell you a little story, Andrew. Uh, a few months ago, I wrote a story about how NBC could license this song from John Tesh, the composer, mm. uh, when it became clear that NBC was on the verge of striking a deal to bring back the NBA, which starts next season. I love this song. It just brings back S everything for me. So everything. that's... When I wrote the story, the, uh, the impact on social media was through the roof. Yep. So in the back of my mind as a reporter, I remembered that and, and was like, okay, um, let me check up on how that deal was. So in, in the intermediate, NBC Sports, when they announced that the NBA was coming back, said, hey, the song's going to come back too. And there was, you know, internet rejoicing. So I checked up on the deal. Uh, I hate to break this to you and the audience, but there is no deal yet. Uh, even though NBC Sports said the song's coming back, they're still in negotiations with John Tesh. John Tesh is holding out? He's, look, uh, John Tesh is asking for a lot. What does he N want? NBC, I think he wants a lot of money. NBC yeah. doesn't necessarily want to pay all of the what money kind of that money John are we Tesh talking wants. talking about, John Tesh? Yeah, probably in the millions. I don't know exactly what I do know is and that... And Alex, this is your fault? This is my you fault, right? No, it's not. Okay. it's not. What they, look, fans love this song, so I do not blame John Tesh at all for asking for a lot of money. Uh, but the standard, the, it, what this is, is it's a little window into licensing sports theme music, which is an area, to be honest, that I had never spent any time before writing the story. Apparently, the average sports TV theme song for a major event yeah. costs about $100,000 a year if you license it. Mm. So I think Tesh is asking for a lot more than right. that. And NBC Sports so far has balked to say, no, we're not going to pay that. So Tesh now has at least held a preliminary discussion with... Amazon uh, to yeah, say, hey, do it. you guys want it? But there's language in the uh, NBA's deal with Amazon, which is also going to get games next year, assuming the Warner Brothers, uh, Warner Brothers Discovery lawsuit, which is pending, they're right. trying to get at it. But we think Amazon's going to get games. Amazon needs to create their own theme music. The NBA mandated that, so they can't use oh, so round ball Tesh lock. has no competition here. So Tesh, apparently, from what I've been told, actually sent Amazon two other songs to be like, hey, if you can't use round ball rock, here's two other songs <laughs> well, I have in fine, the garage. Well, that's fine, but he, they can use that song, and then, and then NBC should be able to buy the other song. So uh, from Tesh what I hear, either something or nothing. NBC right? fully expects to reach a deal still for the song, and we're still in negotiations. Another thing I was told is that Tesh has actually held a conversation with a V. VC firm, uh -huh. where he could sell the song to the VC firm, and the VC firm could negotiate with right. NBC. Take, so, take is, some risk off the table. Is, a little ball risk ball off the Rambo. table. Remember, there's like there was like a big SNL sketch about this song. This song but is wildly popular. This is like the theme song to Top Gun, though. It just it it brings you, you hear it and it brings back a whole. But you also sort of think, think of NBC. Like, honestly, but the other piece. Of, but the other piece of it that I just don't know is. The old, the younger generation may not care. They, they might don't not. know it. They've never heard it in their whole life. And in fact, I suppose if NBC Sports said we want to reach the younger generation, maybe they feel like the song is old and they want to right. bring in a new song. So there's a lot of different things. That, look, 90s nostalgia is big. Like you just look at, think about all of the different reboots on the streaming services of 90s TV. So there's absolutely a huge fan base there that I think NBC wants to reach. And it would be weird to hear this song on, like, ESPN. It does right. sound but, a little dated, though. But it actually, <laughs> Fox Sports has used the song for really? years. Tesh licensed it to Fox to use for their Big East games. Wow. So it's not like this song has totally disappeared. But obviously, people associate it, it with it, NBC.